A big announcement from the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, a new entrepreneurship center in the heart of North St. Louis. Leaders expected to transform businesses and the community for the better. And they tell, excuse me, they tell our Ryan Henson, St. Louis is sitting on a gold mine. The Urban League exists to fill gaps in the community. Now the organization teaming up with Commerce Bank and opening an entrepreneurship center in the heart of North St. Louis on the corner of Newstead and Natural Bridge, an area void of many business opportunities. The center will provide services to help entrepreneurs organize finances, learn how tech can help manage and expand businesses, and create an ecosystem of businesses that generate money and energy. The Urban League says 75% of entrepreneurs who relied on their expertise improve their company's bottom line. President of the National Urban League, Mark Morial, says St. Louis leaders need to realize the black business community is a gold mine. If your economic development strategy is just chasing the relocation of large businesses, but doesn't include a focus on building your indigenous small businesses, then your strategy is flawed. Urban League St. Louis President Michael McMillan says he wants this center to become the match that ignites the black business community. And we would love to see hundreds of companies that have been started throughout the entire region that are able to provide jobs and economic opportunity for people that never had it before. McMillan will rely on a mix of professional and volunteers to help educate and support local entrepreneurs. Tommy Davis owns TD4 Electrical. He says it's one of the largest black businesses in the country. He's learned connecting with other entrepreneurs is the easiest path for success. Who, you know, I'm not the smartest guy. I just kept, I'm, more, I'm the most persistent guy. But I made a lot of mistakes along the way, and I want to keep other young businesses from not making those same mistakes. The Urban League hopes to have the facility open in the second half of the year. Ryan Henson, five on your side. Urban League President Michael McMillan says he hopes this center becomes the number one women's business center and entrepreneur center in the country. Drama in